to use the lovely Daisy Bow Sling. If you follow on towards the end of the video, there's some important safety features too. Now my little girl is nearly five months old, but the instructions go from birth up until you bigger baby. So I'm going to show you how to use the sling now. So grab it out of this lovely handy bag, take it out nice and easy. And then you want to look for the little tab that's got Daisy Grove on it. This tab here, you want to pop this tab in line with your belly button, just like so. We're going to take it round and if I show you the back, we're going to pull up and over each shoulder. You want to make sure that all your fabric is nice and smooth and you're looking to make a cross in the back here. So if I turn around and show you what we've got now, we've got these two little tails here, we've got the daisy grow just here, we want to take each tail and pull through to the material, just like so, then this one. We want to make sure that it's nice and tight, so the baby is nice and secure. Again, make sure that all the material is smoothed out. We just keep pulling so we feel nice and tight. Again, make sure this daisy grow is always forward facing in the middle. Again, keep pulling until all the material is nice and smooth. So I'm going to take these two here, I'm going to twist them. Again, material all nice and smooth. Then we're going to come back to the front here and we're going to tie. You can tie at the side, you can tie at the front, wherever you feel comfortable. I'm just going to make a little knot there. Again, if you're petite, you can go back round like so. I'm just going to tie at the side here. This bit here now. And now, what we should have here is a little seat where baby can sit here. And I can show you now how to pop baby in. So, if you just grab baby underneath the bum here, same, um, same if the baby was um, a newborn to Suki's age five months, just make sure it's nice and tight. We're going to take this piece of material that's closest to our chest here, so we're going to pop this leg in. And then we're going to just pop baby over. We're going to take this leg, pop it in. Baby should be sat here nice and secure. We're going to take this material, so the, the side we've popped in first, and to pull this over. Next side, we're going to pull over. Baby's legs should be just above their hips up here in a frog-like position. Maybe she should be sitting nice and comfy just here. Huh. Then we're going to take the material with the daisy grow tab here and we're going to pop the leg. Just feed that leg through. I'm going to feed that leg through. And then we're going to take this piece of material just pop it over like so. Huh. Baby should be nice and secure, nice and comfortable. We spoke before about if baby was a newborn. What I do is I just take baby's head and I pop this material over just to secure baby, just like so. If baby's not um, able to hold their head just yet, Suki can, obviously. A few other adjustments I might make is I can pull the material up like so, or if I can't see baby, I always want to make sure baby's in view, there's no material on baby's face, um, I can pop this. Just over shoulders, like so. There we go. So, I know we talked about at the beginning of the video some important safety features. So, with your sling, you'll get one of these, a nice little leaflet. It goes through everything we've uh, we've talked about and I've shown you how to wrap baby in the sling. It's also got some really important safety instructions on the back. So there's a thing we use which is called ticks. We want to make sure that baby is nice and tight and secure. Baby needs to be in view at all times and close enough to kiss. 
We also need to make sure that we keep the chin off the chest and that baby's back is nice and supported. And again, your back is nice and supported. Um, so if you're unsure, again, if you go on the Daisy Grow website, all the information's on there. There's also an additional safety feature video and also on YouTube, you'll find all the information on there. Show you now, now that Suki's awake, how to get your baby out of the sling without having to take the sling off. So it's great if you're out and about, you just want to change yeah. nappy really quickly. Um, so we just pop this bit with the Daisy Grow tab again, shuffle this down, baby's legs out a second. There we go. Again, if baby's yeah. newborn, just need that extra head support. So we we'll just take baby up and out like this. And there we can scoop her up like so. Again, sling's still intact, so if I just need a quick nappy change or we're just popping somewhere, I just need to take her out a second, super easy, and she can go back in. So if you like getting out and about as much as Suki and I do, you can follow daisy.grow on Instagram, share your adventures, there's a hashtag in my daisy grow where you can follow other mums who are baby wearing, just like me. Uh, Daisy Grow is a family run business. Um, we also have um, reviews on Amazon. It would be really great if you could leave us a review and tell us how much you love your sling just as much as we do. Thank you so much for watching.